that a great idea for something that your neighborhood could use? Maybe you see a need in your community and have an idea about how to fix it. What if you could benefit not only your community, but the entire city with your idea? How would you get started? Who could you present your idea to? How would you create a proposal and where would the funding come from? If these are questions that stop you in your tracks, your answer could be PB Greensboro. What is PB Greensboro? Greensboro Participatory Budgeting is a democratic process by which community members directly decide how to spend part of the city budget. It gives taxpayers the opportunity to work with the government to make budget decisions that affect their lives. It's a cyclical process starting with the gathering of information from the community and ending with the actual funded project. And the way it all begins is with idea collection. In the idea collection stage, residents get together in meetings, assemblies, or sponsored locations in their district to start thinking about and talking through the projects and programs they'd like to see in their neighborhoods and across the city. You can visit pbgreensboro.com with your mobile device, laptop, or desktop. Just click the idea collection tab to submit your idea from anywhere. Once all the ideas have been submitted, a decision will be made as to which projects have the best chance of moving forward in the process and actually being funded. Community volunteers are the first step in deciding which projects go on to the development phase. They look at all the ideas submitted and decide which ones have the best chance of being developed into projects that can then be voted on and possibly implemented. In the project development phase, community volunteers work with city staff to turn the initial ideas into full project proposals. Things like the actual cost of the project, how it will be maintained, the land use, and other issues are addressed to find the best and most effective way to bring the idea to reality. Once the volunteers and city staff develop the ideas into project proposals with all the required information, it's time to vote. The PB voting cycle here in Greensboro takes place over several days. Before the voting begins, each district will hold a project expo so residents can learn about all the proposals. Voting can be done online or at one of the many voting locations offered during the PB Greensboro voting cycle. You can vote from your mobile device, your laptop, or your desktop computer. Just go online to pbgreensboro.com, click on the Vote tab, and follow the instructions to cast your ballot. And remember, anyone 14 and up can vote. Once all the votes are in, the projects with the most votes get the funding. Work then starts over the next year, with the final result being something everyone can enjoy, like this refurbished playground. PB Greensboro is an amazing opportunity for you to make a real change in your neighborhood. It gives you and your neighbors a voice in shaping the landscape of your community and your city through a budget process that is both equitable and effective. Welcome to this Participatory Budgeting Roundtable discussion. Just by joining us today, you are becoming part of the process, and we hope you are inspired to do even more. Become involved in projects happening in the city of Greensboro. We have three fabulous Participatory Budgeting volunteers joining us today to tell us a little bit more about the project. Jeff Lale, Fonta Dorley, and Spoma Yovanovich. Welcome. Hi, everybody. I am uh, Jeff Lale. I joined the PB Commission uh, for Cycle 3, and I'm the current chair of the PB Commission. Hello, everyone. My name is Fonta Dorley. I am a former advocate and delegate of the PB Commission. Now I'm actually on the PB Commission. Hi, I'm Spoma Yovanovich. I was one of the early advocates to get participatory budgeting for Greensboro. And I am a scholar researcher at the University of North Carolina Greensboro. 
Well, thank you all for the work that you've done, the work that you're going to do, and especially for joining us and, and inspiring others to get involved in that work. So I know, Jeff, a lot of people are hearing about this for the very first time. They want to know what participatory budgeting is. Can you tell us about that? So it's a really straightforward process. Um, the basic idea is we have citizens submit ideas, hopefully awesome, exciting uh, ideas that are going to make a big impact in their communities. Um, then we send this off to a group of citizens that anybody is welcome to join, uh, and they call them project advocates. You work within your city council district uh, to take that enormous list of ideas um, and make them into projects that the citizens can actually vote on. Uh, that's an exciting process. We need as many volunteers as we can, and that's, that's the people who really make this process run. Um, once we, we get those ideas kind of put into the right format, then the citizens vote on them, uh, and the leading uh, votes up to the t uh, to the threshold of money available for each district um, get vote get approved and then city council approves the funding for all of them and then the uh, city staff and the folks that work on uh, making these ideas happen get to their good work. I mean, this is a way to really take your ideas and make them happen in our city. Right. It's, it's a lot of fun. Fontaine's Boma, I know you were uh, among the early advocates, as you said, and you actually did some traveling. You went to other cities to find out how this works. Can, can you talk about your passion for PV? And, uh, and uh, Fonta, why don't you go first? Well, this is a process that I just feel everybody should be a part of, mainly because we sit around and we go through life and we see so many things going on in our city and we complain about it in our households, but never actually get a chance to do something about it. This PD process gives people the platform to have an actual voice in the process, not only by voting, but also coming up with ideas. This is a sort of birthing place of true community, being involved and being um, able to just make decisions for your environment. It's just it's so exciting to see um, all across the nation and even here in our local Greensboro. Yeah, and, and to add to that, Fanta said it, I think, very well. The notion of Building community is so important. We live in a time when, and COVID hasn't helped, where we're really isolated from one another, even when we're just you know, going about our regular day-to-day -day lives. We're on Zoom a lot and, and, and in other ways. But the thing about participatory budgeting, it, it, it provides a platform for us to come together and and really think through and maybe even learn from each other about issues and problems that we weren't aware of before. So I think when I was going to Boston and Chicago and I watched some of their processes, I think I learned so much um, that I didn't know before about what was happening in their cities but people in their own city learned about things going on in other neighborhoods that they didn't know before. So one may have come up with an idea and then heard Fanta or Jeff come up with an idea and said, wait a minute, my idea is okay, but theirs are more important. And to see that kind of collaboration happen, I think is really democracy in action, people taking charge of the things that they want to see in their lives. So that is exciting. That is, and you know, and I think you said it so well, I mean, now more than ever, we are all seeking that connection and to feel so connected to the city, to first your neighborhood, but then to other neighborhoods and other people in the city. Um, that is just an amazing process to be a part of. Fanta, you know, we're in the fourth cycle now of PB. So, I mean, we've done this before. We've learned some things. I know you've learned a lot from being a part of it from the very beginning. Can you give a little advice for those who are who are trying to come up with an idea or, or maybe have have an idea and they're ready to submit it? Well, absolutely, because everyone in this city has a piece of the city in them and they have the opportunity to voice that, to make that manifest it. Um, everyone lives in different parts, but when we are able to come together to form a sort of coalition, community coalition, um, to advocate for our district, it's just an outstanding thing 
because what you see outside of your window, what you see going through your day is different than what your neighbor sees, but you're able to have that community space to have that conversation. And I encourage people, don't be afraid to have the conversation because like Spoma said, just because you have an idea and you think it's the greatest thing in the world, somebody else might have some something that you know sparks something from you and say you know what well maybe our ideas can work together mm-hmm. or maybe my idea is kind of a lower priority let's let's try to advocate for the best thing for our community as a whole so i encourage people to definitely come together and with an open mind just to hear everyone's idea and work together and not only that but also hear from the city because, you know, we have great ideas, but there's a process that needs to go through also. And and we can learn from the city, these different um, elements of the process so that these ideas can come to pass. And I loved what you said earlier too. You know, we talk about the problems at home. This is a chance to talk about those problems and then to talk about solutions, offer solutions to brainstorm all of that. Now, now Jeff, I know there are some limits on how this money can be spent. So can you kind of talk about some of those technical things that people should consider when they're submitting an idea? For sure. Right now, the money that's allocated from the city for this is $500,000. That's split amongst the five districts. So obviously, if your project idea costs $2 million, we'll probably have to look at some other ways to fund that. Um, However, the other thing is um, it kind of has to be constrained to certain property. And it's not Sometimes citizens aren't totally aware of whether this is state or county or whoever. Um, it does need to be on um, non, can't be on state property or, or uh, property that isn't uh, under the city's control. Great. Thanks. That's, that's helpful to know. Okay. So I want to know what are some of your favorite participatory budgeting projects so far? And, and um, how about uh, we start with Fanta? Well, I'm a simple person. <laughs> um, I got into <laughs> I got into community uh, service actually because of um, Spoma's class. So blame her for my large involvement. <laughs> but the thing is, as a child, I always liked jigsaw puzzles and putting pieces together, making sure that every everything laid in its place to make the bigger picture. So just having that ability to sit and and just put things together really helped me see the big picture. So I grew up in New York and having going to different parks, there were these tables, these concrete tables that have checkerboards, chessboards, different games on it. Um, puzzle pieces to put, and I loved going there, not only because of putting the pieces together, but because of the different people that I was able to meet, and uh, especially the older people. They had stories for days, Mm -hmm. so you kind of learn from them. So in short, when I was able to advocate for the, um, the, the concrete tables, I just, I just didn't see tables. I saw opportunities for community to come together, generational sharing and things like that. And, and so the simplicity of childhood um, came through with one of the uh, smaller projects, but it was big in my heart and I appreciate it. I love that big impact. Spoma, what about you? Do you have a favorite? Well, I do. Um, the The game tables are definitely one for it for the conversation it sparks. But I also have been heartened by the number of uh, bus shelters that people have suggested mm-hmm. because I think that's really uh, important for our city to encourage public transportation. And also, we know that many of the people who use public transportation. Um, oftentimes have lower uh, family incomes. And so these are people that I I guess I'm thinking they shouldn't be considered these bus shelters as an amenity, but actually an essential for a city. And and when you can just sit down or be covered in the rain, um, that's the kind of thing, well, I may drive my car most of the time. That really is important to me that that people are taken care of in that small little way and that they can have some conversation while they're waiting for the bus. So uh, the bus shelters are are a big one uh, that I've really enjoyed seeing and I hope we get more of those. I love it. Jeff? 
I love how the projects that we get for PB make an impact in communities. And it might seem like innocuous ideas, like we're going to enhance a basketball court. Or one of my favorite ones is in my neighborhood um, over the Walker Avenue Bridge, the the beautiful like uh, fixed lights and bridge set up and it makes it feel safer. I'm a runner. I go through that area all the time. Uh, but it also, you know, you maybe not might not think of that as like this might really impact the community, but it absolutely does. And that's the power of PB right there. That is the power. It, it's, it's about community. It's about connection. And, and so it's also about getting involved. It's like getting the community involved. So Fanta, let's talk about how they can get involved. Um, how can people participate other than just submitting an idea? There are so many ways, and especially from your home, right? The biggest way is getting information out there. When you see a, a PB flyer or an announcement or things, so many people are connected to other people, other groups. So P, the PB staff, how wonderful they are, cannot reach everybody everywhere. So I would encourage people, share, 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 like, 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 invite, <laughs> invite, invite, invite. If you cannot attend, make sure your neighbor knows about it so maybe they can attend and they can bring your idea there. So it's all about being involved, being present in the process. And so you can do that online, in person, by email. I'm, I'm putting the staff out there. They'll be great and willing to receive your email um, of ideas, but, but just be involved and be engaged in the whole process. Consider this an official invitation to volunteer. And, and, and so I, I know that you can kind of give us an idea. What does it mean to volunteer with PUB and, and, and what is it, what, what makes a great volunteer? Uh, that, that, that's a good question. So, you know, Many people want to have make an impact in the world, right? You know, we, we talk about that. I just want to make a difference in the world. And it's not that easy, typically. You know, you think, you know, at the national level, what am I going to do? How am I going to change the world? Well, you know, it starts right here in our own our own hometown. And what's great about Greensboro and, and the city staff and um, people who are here, we're, you know, everyone's accessible. So I think if you just go in saying, uh, contributing time and being excited, just like you were saying in the, at the very beginning, Rosemary, the more excited you are and, the, and even a little bit of time devoted to uh, sharing information or coming up with some ideas or running something around, I think the, the joy that will come in return, whether your project gets selected or not, um, is going to be evident that you're going to get that um, your life has changed, that you have made a difference. And so um, a willingness to serve, you know, however, however much time you can provide, that makes a great volunteer. We can all do that. Thank you so much. Thank you, all three of you. We so appreciate you spending a little time and sharing your passion and your excitement for participatory budgeting. And again, consider this your official invitation to get involved by submitting an idea and even better by volunteering. We can't wait to see you get involved with PB Greensboro this year.